Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's listen to the Bible together and hear what God is saying to us today. Colossians chapter 1, verses 13 and 14. God has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear Son, who purchased our freedom and forgave our sins. The Apostle Paul was absolutely clear that when someone becomes a Christian, their whole life changes completely. We move to a new country. The kingdom of darkness is now behind us, and we have entered the kingdom of light, with Jesus Christ standing at the centre of it. In that new country, we experience freedom for the first time in our life, having been set free from all those things that conspire to enslave us. Slavery was a normal everyday part of Roman society and Paul often spoke of life before becoming a Christian as being like a form of spiritual slavery. Without Christ we are slaves to our own selfish will and passions all of which are ultimately destructive but Christ has made it possible for us to be set free. Under Roman law it was possible for a slave to be freed from slavery. It was called the process of manumission one of the ways of achieving it was for the slave to pay his master compensation. This was obviously very rarely possible for a slave, but in our case, we have been set free from slavery by God himself paying the price for our freedom. When Jesus died on the cross, the price, which we would never have been able to afford, was paid for us. Everyone wants freedom. If you've ever had your freedom limited by illness, addiction or imprisonment, you'll know what it means to have a deep longing to be free. On many occasions I've visited people in prison. I've always been amazed by the number of locked doors I had to pass through before ever meeting a prisoner. Every prisoner I have ever met with longs for freedom and they're eager to talk about what they're going to do when they're released. We all want freedom. And that's what Jesus came to give us. He came to set us free from our slavery to sin so that we could enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. Let me pray with you. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you came into this world to give us freedom. We confess that we've often gone our own way and we ask you to forgive us and set us free. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. You can hear me on podcast at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.